Doubting Thomas. How would you like that to be your nickname in all of Christendom? About three weeks before Thomas acquires this nickname, Jesus was getting ready to go raise Lazarus from the grave in Bethany. The last time Jesus was in this area, he was almost stoned to death and arrested by the religious leaders. This was hostile territory that Jesus was headed into. Thomas, knowing that Jesus is risking his life going back to Bethany, is the first, the only disciple, to speak up and say, Well, if Jesus is going to die there, let's go with him and die too. That's not doubt. That's commitment and faith. I get why Thomas had doubts that first Easter night. People have been raised from the dead before. They'd watched Jesus do it. But this time, it's Jesus who's dead. Who raised him? Seems like an impossible story for Thomas, a truth easy to reject, but hard to believe. Thomas is not the last one to have doubts about Jesus rising from the dead. Perhaps you do, too. I mean, after all, it's not an everyday occurrence for you. People don't rise from being dead, let alone rise themselves back to life after three days buried in a tomb. Rule number one of being dead is you don't come back to life. Rule number two is see rule number one. Dead is dead. Total absence of life. Resurrections like Jesus don't happen. Remember what St. Paul wrote in Romans 6? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were there buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. In the waters of holy baptism, by the power of word, his word, Jesus joins you to his death on the cross, to his burial in the tomb, and to his resurrection. At the font, you died and were resurrected. Each time you see a baptism, you see a death and a resurrection. It happens quickly. God does this, and he doesn't need much time. Every time you trace Christ's holy cross over yourself and remember your baptism, you are confessing that Jesus died you and resurrected you with himself. Have no doubt of that. And if you have died, you have died to sin. It's buried in the tomb. You have been resurrected to new life, a Holy Spirit-empowered, Jesus-filled life, a life that knows your sins have been forgiven by Jesus. Don't be the Thomas that doubts, but the Thomas that boldly confesses Jesus has died. I have died with him. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And so have I by the power of Christ. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.